All right, eighth grade, if I'm not mistaken, this will be our last video. I believe your last day is the 22nd, and this is the last week with new lessons. So, uh, yeah, not, uh, this was not an ideal way to end uh, your eighth grade year, or any year for that matter. We made the best we could. We actually got you through the entire curriculum. There was nothing we left out. That is not the case with all of my classes. Uh, you can consider yourselves fortunate in that regard. Nonetheless, here we go. I'm just gonna take you through some word problems here and then I'm gonna assign you some more and we're gonna keep it simple for this last week. Yeah, all right, let's roll. So uh, we'll do number one here together where it says, find the value of two numbers if their sum is 12 and their difference is four. So this is very straightforward. Oftentimes uh, a problem like this is so straightforward that students overthink it and complicate it a little bit. For our let statement here, we're just gonna say, let x equal one number, and we're gonna say let y equal the other number because they didn't give us anything distinguishing these two numbers. They just said, we have two numbers and we have to find them. For the system we need to write, they've told us the sum and they've told us their difference. Now, one thing you could do over here is distinguish which number is larger and which number is smaller. You don't have to do that. That'll shake out in the end. You could do it if you wanted to specify uh, which one was the bigger one, because obviously they're not the same. Sum means add. If I add these two numbers, it tells me that that sum is 12. Sum is 12. That means my two numbers will add to be 12. Difference is four. That means my two numbers will subtract to give me four. And now by writing it this way, I have established that x is the larger number. If over here I said something different, I would have to make sure I subtracted correctly over here, but we didn't do that, so we're good to go here. Now we solve our system. We could graph, we could substitute, we could eliminate. This system right here is set up very nicely to eliminate because both my x's and y's in both equations have the same coefficient. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write this guy right underneath, x plus y equals 12. All I did was rewrite that guy over here. And now I'm going to eliminate by adding because negative y plus y gives me zero. That will give me that two x equals 16. Divide by the two, x equals eight. Eight plus what number is gonna give me 12? Well, subtract eight from both sides and I will figure out that that number is four. Y equals four. Final answer, eight comma four. There you have it. All right, let's take a look at maybe more of what we can call a traditional word problem. Let's look at number three. Flying to Kampala, I guess is how you'd say that. With a tailwind, I'm gonna, is Kampala a real place? I'm gonna look that up on my computer. Hold on one second. 12 seconds later. So I just looked up Kampala. Wikipedia tells me it is the largest city in Uganda. Population 1.6 million in the capital city, almost 7 million in the metro area. So there you go, Kampala, real place. Anyway, back to the work here. Flying to Kampala with a tailwind, a plane averaged 158 kilometers per hour. On the return trip, the plane only averaged 112. With the wind, you're gonna go faster. Against the wind, you're gonna go slower. Makes sense. Find the speed of the wind and the speed of the planes. There are the two things we don't know. The speed of the wind, there's one variable. The speed of the plane, there's our other variable. Let's let x equal speed of, we'll call that one the plane, doesn't matter which is which. And we'll let y equal speed of wind. Here's what we know, the plane plus the wind is 158. The plane minus the wind is 112. Looks just like this one up here, only it was a fancier delivery. Add them to eliminate, I love elimination. 2x equals, I guess that would be 270. Divide by two, x equals 135 x equals 135. And 135 plus the wind is 158, which means subtract 135 from both sides. And we will get that the wind is 23. So there you go. One more done. I guess these would both be kilometers per hour. Plane 135 kilometers per hour. 
wind 23 kilometers per hour. All righty. I think we're only going to do one more, and then I'll give you three for homework. All right, how's that sound? The school that Stefan goes to is selling tickets to a choral performance. On the first day of ticket sales, the school sold three seniors, one child, 38 bucks. The school took in 52 on the second day, and that was three seniors, two child, fine. Price of senior ticket and price of child ticket. There are our variables. Let X equal senior price and let Y equal child price. Always start with the let statements, but we already knew that. We've been saying that all year. Here's what we know. We know that three seniors, one child, 38. Three seniors plus one child is 38. What else do we know? We know that three seniors and two child is 52 and there's our system now we could solve this with elimination again but i've already done elimination twice so maybe i'll substitute and i don't know if i'm gonna have enough room to squeeze this all in here i might have to go to a separate sheet of paper but let's see i'm gonna take this equation right here and i'm gonna subtract 3x from both sides and i'm gonna have that y equals 38 minus 3x. Did you see what happened there? Minus 3x on the left, minus 3x on the right, and you get y equals 38 minus 3x. If I know what y equals, well, I can plug it in right there for y. And let's go to a separate sheet of paper and do this. So I just so happen to have a sheet of paper ready right here. So we'll just kind of slide this over here like this so we can kind of see both as I transfer it over. So I've got 3x plus 2y equaling 52 that I'm substituting 38 minus 3x in for y. I put this in for y and now we have that. y is out, 38 minus 3x is in. And now let's finish. Distribute that two. Two times 38 is 76. Two times negative three X is negative six X equals 50. Oops, forgot my two. 52. I would combine 3x and negative 6x, and at the same time, I will subtract 76 from both sides. So I'm going to kind of do a two for one step here. 76 is gone. 3x minus 6x is negative 3x. Over here, 52 minus 76 is going to be negative 24. Divide by negative three, divide by negative three, and x equals eight bucks. Now let's take this guy right here and plug in eight. Three times the eight bucks plus two y is gonna equal 52. 24 plus two y equals 52. Track 24. 2y equals, I guess that would be 28, divide by 2, and y equals 14 bucks. So, SEN senior ticket, 8 bucks. Child ticket, look at my sloppy handwriting, 14 bucks. Oh, ha, I was doing that all out of screen. Whoop, there you go. Final answer. Alrighty, since again, I think this is our last video together. Let's pull this out here. Let's zoom out. Um, what's up? You know, this wasn't the best way for the year to end. Not the best way for any year to end. Didn't really get to uh, have a proper send off, but you know what? You roll with the punches, you take life as it comes, and uh, you just always, always put your best foot forward, do the best you can. So uh, that's what we did here. It wasn't, wasn't ideal, but you know, I think uh, it, was, uh, it had some value to it. So have a great summer, have a great high school career. Don't hesitate to say hello, email, drop by the school, you know, when you have different times off when we're in. And later.